Every mythology talks about the concept of heaven and hell in their own perspective. That is because the beginning and end of the life is one of the most fundamental secrets humans are yet to discover. So many myths have been developed around what happened after a person dies. Norse mythology talks about Valhalla, a majestic enormous hall located in Asgard, ruled over by god Odin. This hall only welcome righteous and honorable warriors who died in combat. Warriors who died in honor holds a significant importance in Norse mythology, since they are prophesied to rise again during Ragnarok. So as for Scandinavian believes, Valhalla is not just a heaven. Instead, it is a glorious and desirable place in all the nine realms, offered for fallen heroes in battle, and an opportunity to attain further greatness in the afterlife. Half of those who die in battle travel to Valhalla upon death, to be with Odin, while the other half gets chosen by the goddess Freya, for the field Folkvanga, which is another hall just as Valhalla, but ruled by Freya. During a battle, Odin would send the Valkyries to the battlefield. Valkyries are described as beautiful female warriors, who are responsible for guiding the souls of deceased soldiers to their afterlife. In the battlefield, the Valkyries would fight alongside the warriors, regardless of which side they are on. All they consider is to protect the honorable warriors. Those who fall in the battlefield will be guided to Asgard by Valkyries and brought before Odin and Freya, so they will be chosen by the gods. After reaching Valhalla, the dead warriors are addressed as Einherja and are considered as Odin's adoptive children. Bravery of a warrior is greatly admired in Norse mythology, that is mainly because the supreme god Odin himself has a very deep appreciation towards this aspect of humankind. So Valhalla is a place where the fallen warriors could celebrate their bravery in front of the king of gods and other fallen legendary warriors. Only those who fight and slain in the battlefield will be welcomed, not those who die of old age or sickness or any other kind of cause. Valhalla is said to be derived from the Old Norse word Valhol. This word composed of two elements, which are Vala and Hol. Vala has the meaning the slain, while Hol has the meaning hall. So together, the word Valhalla means the hall of the slain. Many of the literature on Norse mythology talks about Valhalla. Such most prominent literature are Poetic Edda, Prose Edda, Heimskringla, Fargus Skinner, and much more. In Chapter 8 of Fargus Skinner it is mentioned how Odin is excited to welcome the fallen heroes to Valhalla. What kind of a dream is it, said Odin, in which just before daybreak. I thought I cleared Valhalla, for coming of slain men. I waked the Einherja, bad Valkyries rise up, to strew the bench, and scour the beakers. Wine to carry, as for a king's coming, here to me I expect heroes coming from the world, certain great ones, so glad is my heart. The magnificent hall is described as a golden hall, where one can find the finest luxury. The roof of the hall is made from the shields of Norse heroes and slain warriors, while the hall's rafters were made from the warriors' spears. Most of the furniture in the hall were made from the breastplates, shaping them in magnificent ways, creating most fascinating furniture one had ever seen. The interior of the hall is said to be more magnificent than the exterior, though the exterior itself shines in shimmering gold that it could be seen from a very distance. Every door of the hall is guarded by a fierce wolf, while the main entrance is guarded by two wolves. An eagle is said to be circling around the perimeter to look out for any intruders. The poem Grimnismal of Poetic Edda describes that there are 540 doors in the hall. These doors are so huge, so that 800 warriors could pass through a door at the same time. Within Valhalla exists Thor's Hall Bilskernir, which is said to consist of 540 rooms. The warriors will be served the finest food and drinks, and gets the opportunity to dine with the King of Gods. The food and drinks would never run out. Prose Edda mention about the existence of Serimnir, 
who is a magical boar that has the power to regenerate every time it is feasted upon by the fallen warriors. The cook of the gods, Andrimni, is responsible for the slaughter of Serimnir every evening. The boar is prepared in a special cauldron named Eldrimnir. Even though Serimnir was commonly known to be a boar, some translations of the prose Edda describe Serimnir as a creature of no specific type. Prose Edda explains that even though Odin sits with the Einherjar during the feast, he does not eat the food. Instead, Odin gives the food on his table to his two wolves Jerry and Freki, because Odin himself doesn't need food. Odin gains sustenance from wine, as if it were drink and meat. Another being that feeds Einherjar is the she-goat Hydrun. Prose Edda talks about Hydrun as A goat called Hydrun stands up on its hind legs in Valhalla, biting the buds off the branches of that very famous tree, which is called Larad. From her teats runs the mead, with which every day she fills a cauldron, which is so big that all the Einherjar can drink their fill from it. The she-goat is believed to stand on the golden roof of Valhalla, eating the leaves from the magic tree Larad. She would consume the buds of the tree, and produce an endless stream of mead, which is an alcoholic beverage made basically by fermenting honey water. She fills a huge cauldron, and the Einherjar could drink from it to their heart content. Larad is also another important tree found in Valhalla. It's not only magical, but consists of immense beauty. Some even believe that it is the tip of the world tree Yggdrasil. Another being that lives on the top of the roof of Valhalla and feeds off Larad is the stag Iconia. The stag has enormous horns that is extends all the way down into Virgilmere. These horns are not just long, but also consist of a magical heat that has the ability to melt the ice in Virgilmere. So from these tips of the horns, where they touch the ice of Virgilmere, emerge many rivers. Another significant tree in Valhalla is Glacier. It is said, the tree is so beautiful, which no other tree could ever bear. The Glacier, which means gleaming in Old Norse, is described as the most beautiful creation in Asgard. In fact it is described as the most beautiful among gods and men. It bears red golden leaves. Gold is sometimes referred in Norse literature as glacier's foliage or glacier's leaves. Glacier trees stand outside the doors of Valhalla, adding an elegant beauty to the hall of the slain. The true purpose of Valhalla is not just to house the fallen heroes. The great god Odin built it, so that he could create an army of most honorable brave warriors to fight in the prophesized last battle against evil which is known as Ragnarok. So the warriors living in the hall are said to train daily to prepare themselves for the inevitable war. They would fight among themselves to learn from each other. Legends further explain that half of all the fallen heroes since the beginning of the world live in Valhalla and many are yet to come. Even though it sounds like too many souls are in Valhalla, it would seem far less for the fierce wolf Fenri. When Fenri is freed at the time of the Ragnarok, all the heroes will leave Valhalla through its massive doors for the first time and stand with Odin for the battle, which would be their last and grandest battle. Regardless of these extensive preparations, the final battle is not prophesied to be an easy one for the gods. Many of the gods, including Odin and his son Thor, are destined to fall. So Valhalla is a temporary residence, and even with luxury one could ever imagine, there is fear among each warrior, of the fearsome day that is yet to confront. What do you think of this story? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. My Patreon and subscribers, thank you so much for your amazing support. If haven't already, would very much appreciate if you could help out the channel by being a Patreon and by subscribing. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you again in another story to tell.